Rule number one, definition. Section one is the alter bath. A bath is altered when the physical structure of a legal bath has been changed. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng altered bath? Ang altered bath, which, which means is yung physical structure ng bath ay nagbago or in some ways may binago. So, that is the meaning of the altered bath. So, let's proceed to section 2, which is a pill play. A live or dead ball appeal in a play or situation in which an umpire cannot make a decision unless requested by a manager, coach, or player, or a non-offending team. Take note that a coach or a manager may only make a dead ball appeal after stepping onto the playing field. If made by a fielder, the fielder must be in, in field when making the appeal. The appeal may not be be made after any one of the following has occurred. A. A legal pitch has been thrown or an illegal pitch has been called. So these are the exceptions. Number one is an appeal for use of illegal substitution, illegal re-entry, a replacement player or a withdraw player either leaving or returning to the lineup under the replacement player rule. And not reporting to the umpire can be made any time while such player in still in the game. Number two is an appeal for runners switching possession on the basis they occupied may be made at any time until such runners are in a daga or the half in over. B. The pitcher and all defensive players have left feet territory or the umpires have left the field or playing or play following the last play of the game these are the types of appeals a is the missing a base b leaving a base on a cut fly ball before the ball is first touch c is batting out of order d is attempting to advise to second base after making a turn at first base E is illegal substitution. F. The use of unannounced players under the replacement player rule. G is illegal re-entry. H. The use of unannounced player under the design, designated player rule. Runner switching position in the bases they occupied. Section 3 is the ball compression. Ball compression is the load force in kilograms or pounds required to compress a softball 6.5 millimeter or 0 0.25 inches when measured in accordance with the ASTM or American Asso Society for Testing and Materials test method for measuring compression displacement of softball Section number four is the ball core. The coefficient of resistance of the softball when measured with the ASTM test method for measuring the coefficient of resistance of softball. The next one is the section number five, the baseline. A baseline is the direct line between bases. The next one is the section number 6, Base on Balls. A base on balls occurs when four pitches are judged by the plate umpire to the balls, including the illegal pitchers. The butler is awarded first base. This is something referred to as a walk. Section number 7. The base path. A base path is a direct line between the base and the runner's position at the time of defensive players is attempting to tag a runner. Section number eight: Battled ball. A battled ball is any ball that is that hits the bat, or it's hit by the bat and lands either in fair or foul territory. No intention to hit the ball is 
necessary. Section number 9, the batter. A batter is an offensive player who enters the battler box with the intention of aiding his team to score runs. He continues to be the battler until he is either declared out by the emperor or he becomes the battler runner. Section number 10 is the battler box. A battler's box is the area to which the battler is restricted while in possession with intention of helping with his team to obtain runners. The lines are considered as being with in the butler's box. Section number 11, the butler runner, is a player who has finished a turn at bat has not yet been put out or touched first base. The next is the section number 3, black ball. A black ball is the battle drone or pitched ball that becomes the launch or in finishing or is touched top or handed by a person not engaged in the game or is touched chest any object that is not part of the official equipment playing area or is touched by the defensive player who is connect with the ground that is not part of the playing area. A thrown ball touching the base coach accidentally in or out of the coach's box is not a black ball. The next is the section number 14, the bunt or the FP only. A bunt is a bat battle ball that not swing at but intentionally met with a bat and tap slowly within the playing field. In the section number 15 is the coach. A coach is a legally coach ball which occurs when a fielder catches the, the battle or thrown ball or a glove. Section number 16, the catcher's box. A catcher box is the area within which the catcher must remain until the pitcher is released and the lines are not be considered within the catcher's box. The pitcher's ball is battle, touches, and ground plate or batter or reaches the catcher box. The lines are to be considered within the catcher's box. Section number 17, the charge Conference. A charge conference takes place when offensive conference, the offensive teams request a suspension of play or delays plays to allow the manager or the team representative to confer with member of their team. In the offensive conference, team requests a suspension of play to allow a representative of the defensive team to enter the playing field to communicate with any defensive player or a fielder leaves his position and goes to the dog out and gives the umpire reason to believe that has received instruction. Section number 18, a chop ball. A chop ball hit ball is one of which the batter strike down wide with a chopping motion of bat so that the ball bounces high into the air. Section number 19, the coach. A coach is a person who is responsible for the team's action on the field and he represents the team in communication with the umpire and opposite, opposite team. A player must be designated as a coach in the event and the coach is absent or the player is playing coach. For the purpose of the, these rules, the manager of the team is considered to be the head coach. Section number 20, the crow hop. A crow hop is defined as the act of pitcher who does not push off from the pitcher's plate to deliver a ball. This is a legal act if the pitcher steps off the pitcher plate, thereby establishing a second impetus, and then pushes off their new starting point and completes the delivery. Section 21. A dead ball. A dead ball is one that touches any object that is not part of the official equipment or the official playing area or the player person not engaged in the game or the lodge in the umpire's gear or in the offensive player's clothes or the umpire has ruled dead. Section number 22, defensive team. A defensive team is a team in the field. Section number 23, delayed dead ball. A delayed dead ball is a game situation in which the ball remains alive until the conclusion.
of a play. When entire play is completed, if required, the umpire shall rule a dead ball and reinforce the appropriate ruling. Section number 24 is designated player DP, FP. A designated player is a starting offensive player who has bought in a lineup for an X player listed in the fan possession on the lineup card. Section number 25 is the dislodge base. It's a base displaced from its proper possession. Section number 26 is the double play. A double play is a play by the defense in which two offensive players are legally put out as a result of continuous action. Section number 27 is a dugout. A dugout is an area in dead ball territory designated for players, coaches, but boys or girls and officiating representative of the team only. Section number 28 is the ejection from the game. Ejection is the act of any umpire ordering a player, official, or any team member to leave the game and grounds for rule violation for the remainder of the game. Section number 29 is the fair ball. A fair ball is illegally battled ball which a settle or is touched on over fair territory between home and first base or between home and third base. Bounce pass first as third base on over fair territory regardless of whether the ball hits after going over the base. C. Touches first, second, or third base. While on or over fair territory touches the person or clothing of an umpire or a player. E. First falls on fair territory beyond first and third base. F. While over fair territory passes at the playing field beyond the on-field feast. And G. Is the wi while in fight hits a foul line post. Section number 30 is a fair territory. A fair territory is a part of the playing field within the including first and third base foul lines from home base to the bottom of the extreme playing field fence with a perpendicularly upward. But section number 31 is a fake tag. A fake tag is a form of obstruction and rather while advancing on returning a base by a fielder who is not in Position of the ball that is impedes the progress of the runner. Section number 32 is a fielder. A fielder is any defensive player of the team on the field. Section number 33 is a fly ball. A fly ball is any ball battled in the air. 34 is a flex player. A fle flex player is the starting player from whom the designated player is battled in whose name appears in a tenth possession in the lineup card. Section number 35 is forced out. A forced out is which can be made only when a runner loses the right to the base which is occupying because the bat the batter becomes a batter running and before the batter running or a succeeding runner has been put out. Section number 36 the forfeit is the act of plate umpire ruling the game is over by declaring the non-offending team the winner. Section number 37 is the foul ball. A foul ball is legally battled ball which settles on foul territory between home and first base or between home and third base. B is bounce pass or first or third on or over foul territory first touches on foul territory beyond first or third base. While on over foul territory touches the person, attach or detach equipment or clothing of an umpire or player or any object foreign to the natural ground. Touches the butter or the buff is the butter's hands the second time while the butter is within goes the butter box. The section number 30 is the foul territory. A foul territory is any part of playing field that is not included in fair territory. In section number 39 is a foul tip. A foul tip is a battled ball which of A is a uh, goes directly from the bat to the catcher's hands. B 
goes not higher than the butler head and C is legally caused by the cut shirt. Section number 40 is the helmet. Helmet must have two ear flap and shall be type that has safety features equal to or greater than those provided by the full plastic cap with padding on the inside. A linear covering and the ears only does not meet the rule expectation. Worn by the catcher may be the skull tape without the ear laps. Worn by the defensive player does not need ear laps. That is cracked, broken, then turned the outer shall be declared the illegal helmet removed from the game. The next is the section number 41 is the home team. The home team is the team that was grounds the game in played. Or is the game is played on the neutral ground and the home shall be designed by the mutual agreement or the flip of a coin. Section number 42 is the illegal bot. The illegal bot is one of does not meet the requirements of rule number 3 section 1. Rules section 43 is the illegal extra players. An illegal extra players is one who violates any other provided of the rule of rule 4 section 6. Section number 44 is the illegal pitcher. Is player legally in a game but the one who's not pitched as a result of the being removed from the pitching position by the umpire as a result of a defensive charge conference limit being exceeded or being removed from the pitching position by the umpire as a result of pitching with successive speed after the warning. Section number 45 is the illegal player. A player who takes a position in the lineup either the offensive or defense who has not reported at the plate umpire. A player who takes a position of offensive or defensive who does not have a legal right to the to that position. 46 the illegal re-entry. A, li a, a starting player returned to the game a second time after twice being substituted. A certain player returns to the game after being substituted by not his original position, its offensive lineup. Section number 47 is the illegal substitute. A legal substitute is a player who has entire the game without being announced to the empire. He may be a substitute who has not previously been in the game, an illegal player, a declared an eligible player, an illegal re-entry, or the illegal DP or flex player, or EP, or SP only. F is a replacement player who has remained in this game as an and an substitute for a withdraw player who has not returned to the game within the time permitted under the provision of the rep replacement player rule. Section 40 is the illegal battle ball. Occurs when the battle hits the ball, fair or foul. Ill. While his entry foot is completely out of the butler box on the ground when he makes contact with the ball, with any part of the butler foot is touching home plate when makes contact with the ball, while contact the ball with illegal non approved or the altered bat after he steps with either foot entirely out of the butler box and return and makes contact with the ball while within the butler box. Section 14 is the illegally cuffed ball. Occurs when the fielder catches the battle drone or pitch ball with his cap, mask, glove, or any part of his uniform while he is detached from its, prop, in its proper place. 50 is the eligible player. As the eligible player is a pl player who may be no longer illegally participate in the game because the umpire has removed him. Section number 51 is the in ineligible replacement player. It's a player who does not enter the game to replace a player who must leave the game to attend to any injury that has caused bleeding. An eligibility replaced player is the one who has been removed from the game by the Empire for the violation of the rules. It is current lineup. It is not current lineup, but eligible to enter the game. In section number two is a flight. Describes any Battle thrown or pitch ball that has not yet touched on the ground or some objects that other than a fielder. In 53 is the Geopardy. It's a term indicating that the ball is in play and an offensive player may be put out. 
Section 50 for the infield is that portion of the field is fair territory that includes areas normally covered by the infielders. Section 55 is the infielder is a defensive player including the pitcher and the catcher who is generally positioned anywhere near or within the lines of the base path forming fair territory. Section 56 is the infield fly. It's a fair ball that can be caught in the infielder with ordinary effort when the first and the second or the first, second, or third base are occupied before the two or out. Section number 57, the inning, is the portion of the game within which the terms alternate an offen offense in defense and in which there are three out of team. 58 is the intentional base on balls of course, when the defensive team desires to place the batter or the first base without the requirement to deliver four pitch balls, this is referred to as an international walk, the ball is dead. 59 is the intentional drop fly ball. The intentional drop fly ball is a fair fly ball including the line drive or bland with less than two, out, two outs and the runner on first base which can be caught by the fielder in the ordinary effort with the infield the intentional drops after its control with the hand or a glove. Section number 60 is the interference. It's the act of the offensive player or the team member that impedes, hinders, or confuses a defensive player attempting to execute a play. An player who impedes a catcher's attempt to throw out the runner who is off the base. The umpire or runner being hit with a fair battle, batted ball prior to its passing an infender excluding the pitcher. A spectator who reaches into the playing field and impedes a fielder playing the ball or makes the contact with the ball that fielder is attempting to play on. 61 is the leaping is an act of pitcher that causes him to be airborne on his essential move and push from the pitcher play. Section 60 is the legal touch tag. It's the action of a fielder in touch or tagging. A battle runner or a runner who has not contact with a base with a ball securely held his hands or glove. The ball is not considered as having been securely held if it is juggled and dropped by the fielder after tagging the batter, runner, or a runner. 63 is the illegally caused ball. Of course, when a fielder catches a batter thrown or pitch ball provided it is not caught in the fielder's cap, helmet, mask, protector, pocket, or other parts of his uniform. 64 is the line drive. is a ball in flat that is battled sharply and directly into the playing field. 65 is the line up and line up guard. Currently involved playing offensive and defensive position in the game. 66 is the obstruction. Is the act of an offensive player or team member who hinders or prevents a batter from striking at or hitting a pitch ball. A fielder who impedes the progress of a runner or a battle runner who is legally running, not in a possession of the ball or not in the act of fielding a battle ball or making a fake tag without the ball or in possession of ball that who pushes a runner off the base or in possession of ball but not in the act of making a play on the runner impedes the progress of the runner while he is legally running the bases. 67 is offensive player only. As a player is a battling order other than the flex or whom the deep is playing defense. 68 is the offensive team. It's a team at bat. Official equipment is considered to be any equipment, bat, gloves, helmet, etc. in current use by defensive or offensive team in course of play. 70 is the on-deck batter. Butter. 
is the offensive player whose name follows the name of the batter in a battling order. 71 is the on-deck circle. It's that area where the on-deck batter may warm up or take practice swing while waiting his turn to enter the butler's box. Section number 70 is 1 meter or 3 foot line. Is the area the last half distance between home and first base where a batter running must not run to avoid being called out for interfering with a thrown ball from the home plate area or with fielder's attempts to take such a throw while running to first base. Section number 73 is the option play in which an offensive coach or manager is given the choice to taking the enforcement of the illegal action result of the play such options includes a catcher obstruction use the illegal glove c is the illegal substitution d is the illegal pitch e is the illegal pitch return to game and pitching f is the female butler of two out box section number 74 is the outfield is the portion of the field that is outside diamond and from the baseline or the area not normally covered by the field within the four lines beyond first and third bases and boundary of the grounds. The section number 75, the overslide, is the act of an offensive player when the runner or runner her overslide the base he is competing to reach. It's usually caused when his momentum causes him to lose contact with the base which then causes him to be jeopardy section number 76 is overthrow in which the ball is thrown from the one fielder to another resulting in the ball going beyond the boundary lines of the playing field or be going becoming block 27 is a pass ball in pitch that should have been held or controlled by the catcher with ordinary effort. Section number 78 is pitch. Is the act performed by the pitcher in delivering the ball to the butler. Section number 79 is a pitcher circle. The pitcher circle is the area within 2.44 meter or 8 feet on the pitcher plate. The lines are considered within the circle. Section number 8 is a pivot foot. FP only when which the picture pushes of the picture plate. In which when placed in the contact within the picture's plate with the picture must remain in contact with the picture plate until the pitch ball is released. Section number 81 is the play ball. Is a term used by the plate umpire to indicate that the play shall begin or be resumed when the pitcher holds the ball and FP only within the pitcher circle, SP only if on the near pitcher's plate. Section number 82 is a pre-game meeting. It's a meeting held at the home plate area that at the predetermined time between the umpires and the head coaches, managers, or team sensitive and respective team in meeting held to confirm or approve the lineup or each team and to distribute a copy of the opposition and review the special ground rules and that may be applicable. Section number 83 is a protest. It is action of a defensive or offensive team objecting to the interpretation or application of playing rule by the emperor or the eligibility of team roster member. Section 84 is the quick return pitch in is one made by the pitcher with the obvious attempt to catch the batter of balance. It could be before the batter takes his visitor position in the batter box or while he is still off balance as a result of a previous pitch. Section number 85 is the entry. It is the act of any of the starting players to turn to the game 
after being legally or illegally substituted. Section number 85 is jury entry. It's an act of any starting players returning to the game after being legally or illegally substituted. Section number 86 is the removal from the game in an act of the empire declaring a player eligibly or further participation in the game other than a coach as a result of an infraction of the rules. Section number 87 is the replacement player. Is a player required to enter the game for the defined period of time to replace a player who must leave the game to attend to an injury that is causing bleeding. Section number 88 is runner. Is a player of the team that bat who has finished a turn of bat reached the first base and not yet been put, put out. Section number 18 is a slap hit, FP only. Slap hit is a battle ball that has been struck with control short, shopping motion rather than with a full swing. Section number 90 is a squid play. A squid play is a play in which the offensive team with the runner and third base attempt to score that runner by means of the batter coaching the ball. Section number 91 is a starting player. Players this in an official lineup give to the umpire in chief and or the place plate umpire. Section number 92 is the act of a runner attempting to advance during or after a pitch to the batter, stealing is not allowed in slow pitch. Number 93 is the strike zone. Is a is that play space over and any part of home played between the batter's armpit and the top of his knees when he assumes his natural being stance. The strike zone is the space over any part of home that is between the batter's back shoulder and his knees when he assumes his natural battling stances. Section number 94 is the substitute. It's a player listed in the official lineup card who is an uncertain player who has not been in the game or other than a replacement player, a starting player who has a left game once and who may legally return the lineup. Number Section number 94 is a tagging up. Tagging up is the action of a runner returning to his base or remaining on his base before the legally advances of battle fly ball that is first touched by a fielder. Section number 96 is the team member includes any person authorized to sit on the team bench. Section number 97 Temporary runner is a player who may run for the catcher of record from the preceding half inning who is now the base with two out. Section number 98 is throw. Is the act performed by a fielder when throwing the ball to another fielder. Section number 99 is a time. It's a term used by the empire to order the suspension of play during which ball is dead. Section number 11 is a trap ball, a legally battled fly ball or line drive that hits the ground or the fence prior being cough. A legal battled fly ball that is cough against the fence with a glove or bare hand or a thrown ball up to any base for the force out which is coughed with a glove over the ball in the ground rather than under the ball and pitch ball that touches the ground on the strike. Section 101 Triple play is continuous action play by the defense or which three offensive player are put out. Section number 102 is turn a bath when a player first enter the butler box and continue until the butler is put out or becomes a butler runner. 
Section number 203 is a wild pitch. It's a pitch so high, so low, or so wide of the plate that the catcher cannot or does not stop and control it with the ordinary effort. Section number 104. Wild throw is play in which the ball is thrown from one filter to another and cannot be caught or controlled is not blocked and remain in play. Section 105 is the withdraw player. Is a player leave the game in accordance with the replacement player rolling. Let's proceed to rule number two, the playing field. Section number one is the playing field. Is the area within which the ball may be legally played and filled. B shall have a clear clear and abstracted error within the minimum radius as set out in the distance table from home plates between the foul lines. C shall be shall have an uns, an obstruction area outside of foul lines in between home plates and the backstop as shown into the diagram in the appendix one. Should have a warning track if the warning track should it shall be the area within the playing field in adjustment to any permanent fence along the outline side boundaries to a minimum of 3.65 or 12 foot on the maximum of 4.57 and 15 feet from the outfield and or the side fences made of material dirt gravel that is level with but different from the playing surface. The material must distinguish itself from the outfield surface and signals, signals players when they are approaching the fence. Section number two, ground or special rules. Establishing the limits of playing field may be agreed upon the leagues or opposing teams whenever back Stop fences, stands, vehicles, spectators, or other obstruction are within the prospect prescribed area. Section number three is the official diamond shall have base lines and pitching distance as set out in distance table. Section number four is the diamond layout. Refers to drawing showing official Dimension of sub diamonds in appendix 1 to 8 detailed instruction to lay out the diamond within 18.29 meters base lines and a 14.0 or 46 feet pitching distance can be found in appendix 2 dimension after the following contains appendix 2. Let's proceed to rule number three, the equipment. Section number one is the official bat. Shall be one piece construction, multi piece, permanently assembled, or two piece interchangeable construction. If the bat is designed with interchangeable component, it must meet the following criteria. Body component must have unique lock cooking gear to prevent uncertified equipment combination in the field. All component combination must meet the same standard as if it were a one-piece bat when combined or a portion of a one-piece bat is separated. Shall, number B is shall be made of one piece of the hardwood or form from black of wood consisting of two or more pieces of wood bounded together with an adhesive in such way that the grain direction of all pieces is parallel to the length of the butt. Shall be metal, bamboo, plastic, graphite, carbon, magnesium, hyperglass, ceramic, or any other composite material approved by the ISF Equipment Standard Commission. This that can be laminated but must contain only wood or adhesive and have 
a clear finish shall be round and shall be smooth shall not be more than 86.4 cm 34 in long nor exceed in weight shall not be more than 506 in diameter at this large part tolerance of 0.80 mm is permitted to allow expansion shall not have exposed rivets pins rough sharp edges any or the exposure faster that would represent hazard a metal but shall not have a wooden handle shall have a safety grip or core tape or composition material section number two is the warm-up bat a warm-up bat must be one of the piece structure and shall comply with the safety grip and safety knob requirement of a official bat it must be marked warm up in 3.2 cm letters on the barrel end and bar barrel end must be in excess in 5.7 cm. Section number 3 is the official softball. Shall be regular smooth seams, concede stage or flat surface ball. Shall have a center core made of either number 1 quality long fabric capok a mixture of cork and rubber, a polyurethane mixture, other material approved by the ISF equipment. Maybe hand or machine would be the fine quality twisted yarn and convert the alex or the rubber content. Section number four is the glove or myth. Any player may be wear a glove, but only the catcher and the first baseman used the myth. No top placing, webbing, or other devices between the thumb and body of the glove or myth worn by the first baseman or catcher of the glove worn by any fielder shall be more than 12.7 cm in length. The picture's glove may be any combination of colors provided none of the colors are the color of the ball. Gloves worn by any player other than the pitchers may be any combination of colors. Gloves with white or yellow optic circles of the outside giving the appearance of the ball are illegal of the players. Section number 5 of this shoes. All team members must wear shoes. A shoe shall be considered official. It is made with either canvas or leather uppers or similar materials in its full enclosed. The shoes may be either smooth or have soft or hard rubber cleats. Section number six is protective equipment. Mask F F P only. All catchers must wear mask, throat protector and helmet. The catchers or the other members of the defensive team must wear mask, throat protector and helmet while receiving warm up of pitches from the pitching plate or in the warm-up area. Section number seven is equipment on playing field. Equipment that is not part of the official equipment shall not be left lying on the playing field in the entire fair or the full territory. The ball is dead if it is contact equipment that is not part of the official equipment. For offensive equipment causing a black ball, the player being played on it is out. If not, if no apparent play it obvious, no runners will be called out, but all runners will return to the last base touch at that time. Of the dead ball declaration. For defensive equipment causing the black ball, runners are awarded one base from the base last touch at the time of pitch on a pitch ball. Two bases from the base last touch at the time of the throw or throw ball. Two bases from the base last touch at the time of the pitch or fair ba battled ball. Section number 8 is a uniform. All players on team shall wear uniform alike in color. Team and style reference to coaches uniform are found under Rule 4 and Section 1B. Exception repairs and coaches may for religious season be permitted to wear specific head covering and apparel that does not 
conform the standard uniform requirement penalty. Section number one is all equipment notwithstanding the foregoing the ISF reserve the right to withhold the withdraw approval of the any equipment which it is the ISF sole determination significantly changes the character of the game affects the safety of participants or the spectators of renders a player performance more a product of his equipment rather than his individual skill rule number four coaches players and substitute section number one is the coaches the head coach is responsible for signing the line up card coaches must be neatly attired including the wearing of suitable footwear and dress in, in team uniform in accordance with the floor with the color code of the team since the offensive team coach, base coach is the eligible member of the team at Bato takes his place on the field within the coach box. Two coaches are allowed to give rewards for assistance and, and direction to make members of their team while a bat. One shall be stationed near first base and one near third base and they are required to remain but both fit within the confines of their Expected coach ba box. Section number two is the lineup cards and roster rosters. Official lineup cards are the completed and submitted to the official soccer and a plate umpire at the start of the each game. The plate umpire retains the card f for the duration of the game. A player's name shall not be on the starting lineup unless the player is present in the team area and in uniform. All available players should be listed in the sign place, but their last name, first name, and uniform numbers. Legal roster members may added to the available substitute list at any during the game. The name of the head coach manager must be listed on the lineup card. B male roster shall include only male players on the female roster shall include only female players.